An eighth grader brings a kitchen knife to school and stabs a classmate. She was taken to the hospital, is expected to recover. Parents now concerned for the students who witnessed the assault while changing classes. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is getting answers on a nationwide link of school violence and the pandemic. Madison. The last two years of working from home may manifest itself in this uptick in violence on school campuses all across the country. Now, what led a student, an eighth grader, to bring a knife to this very campus this morning? A motive for that not yet found. It's part of this investigation, but it does have parents on edge and prepared to have tough conversations with their students at home. All of a sudden I get a text message and it, it, all it says is like, mom, a girl got stabbed on campus from my eighth grader. Text messages between a mother and her eighth grade daughter show in real time the fear that spread on Sierra Oaks K through eight campus Thursday morning. She called me. She was upset because she knew the girl that had gotten stabbed and it was, you know, a girl that had you sometimes sits with them. And so she's like, she's such a nice girl, mom. She's so sweet. And she's like, she was crying. The pauses between messages felt like hours for this parent. A San Juan Unified spokesperson said it took 90 minutes to alert families. I didn't find out till 11 something in the morning. This happened at 9 o'clock. That's what makes me upset. We're getting answers from the district on why some parents say that's just too long. A spokesperson said it was part of protocol, working with law enforcement to make sure any info sent out would not hurt the investigation. We wanted to know. Is there an uptick in violence on school campuses post pandemic? An Ed Week Research Center survey suggests there has been an increase in student threats and discipline problems. Two out of three teachers, principals, and district leaders say students are misbehaving more these days than they did in the fall of 2019. Certainly, as we've all spent some time away from each other, coming back together does take some time to adjust. Counseling is available through next week on this campus. This eighth grade parent said teachers and students have already started conversations Thursday. And she's reminded her daughter. She's in eighth grade. She's 14 years old, 13, 14 years old. Like, I mean, I'm sure she didn't understand what she was doing. She understood, but didn't understand. Um, and I'm sure there's something going on. A spokesperson for the district told me anecdotally they haven't seen an uptick in violence, but they do know that students might have difficulty adjusting back to being at school full time. So he says some campuses in the district are actually using just time in the day for free time to play board games, which is a low risk way and a relaxed way for students to begin to re interact with their peers and, of course, their teachers.